right, so here we're at for today. Um, changing gears for a minute here. I'm actually gonna start to replace the outer rocker and the inner rocker. Um, mostly because, one, uh, down in there is pretty gang for rust, especially up in the front there. And then the inner rocker should be here today, hopefully. So what we're gonna try to do is take this all out one piece. We'll see how that's gonna happen. And that's why I had the extra bracing in there for four and a half and triangulated a little bit. Also a little bit of locating tab, so now four up needs to go. The other thing is, the uh, so I can start drilling out the uh, spot welds all in there, across the bottom, cut that shit out there. It's gonna be a couple day ordeal to get this thing out, but I really don't care. I got time to do it. But at least here is the uh, new rocker, outer rocker is gonna go in. So and the other thing is too, being that the everything's gonna be a part of the uh, inner rocker and outer rocker and all. Um, on the tow board there where that, the flange is, I can actually form it off the car and it's dropping into place. It's pretty close now, but we shall see uh, how much better I can get the fitment when it's off the car and I can actually like I said, form it right to the inner rocker. Oh, about six hours later. <laughs> yeah, let's keep cutting more of the car apart. Let's see how bad I actually uh, can make this thing and how bare I can make it. So yeah, the rocker was able to get it out in one piece, mostly. Um, I cut a few access holes just to see how it was welded in there. wasn't really sure what was holding me up was. Had a couple welds across the bottom there onto the rocker. And that was right about there. So, and there was also other welds I didn't see because they had uh, uh, spot welds with a big one on top of the inner rocker. And they also had sp uh, resistant spot welds going to the uh, outer rocker. I didn't see them. Once I got them out, I think the whole assembly got pretty loose. Um, but to get it out, I ended up having to slice it, the frame mount or whatever for the uh, fender goes. But it was also a good thing that I had to slice it, come to find out, where the actual frame mount is on there. This whole assembly, all the welds that are on here are not welded. Yeah, I guess they rusted out or they just weren't really good from the factory. Overall, it wasn't too bad getting everything out. Uh, went to drilling, grinding, smacking, hammering. Even the wife was just like, oh crap. So that's what it looks like down below. Yeah, there we go. Uh, put up the uh, shutter speed. So yeah, that's what that looks like down underneath there. And uh, my idea of putting everything in the hole as one assembly is not going to happen. Uh, probably going to do the outer rocker first, and which is over there and there's the inner rocker Oops. everything fits pretty good so far I mean I had the inner rocker and air screwing around with it And that's pretty much it. I took the time already to fit this in here. There's uh, my <coughs> measurements from uh, this point here to here. I have written down six, six and a half inches from the uh, where the cow cow panel meets the uh, eighth door, eighth door, yeah, eighth door. Um, from here to here, so that I'll be the same. If I got to tweak the pad a little bit to bend them forward, so I have enough on there to weld. Uh, this sits pretty nice up and tight. Putting these little locator tabs definitely works quite well yet again. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Once it's in there, it's in there. Uh, I did take measurements for the width off of, off of the old one. That's why I want to kind of want to get one piece so I actually can like, you know, go back, measure, make sure everything's exactly the same. 
And uh, this was pretty good from AMD coming for being bent and all bent and all that fun stuff. But it ended up being kind of wide down here and narrow down this end. So it just pulled it apart a little bit and squared it up. I, uh, I think the next thing I want to do is uh, a lot of cleaning, a lot of rust fixing, fixing rust and whatnot, a little bit of painting up inside here where he did, and straight the metal, metal out. All right, time to go get a drink. Do a little frame there, a little spark to the front of the car, so I can actually take the uh, firewall frame out off. Uh, that way we can actually get back behind and work the patch that we need to put in there. That's what it looks like on the inside. A couple of uh, spot welds across the firewall back there. Drill those out and along in here and it should be out pretty quickly.
So I saw on one of the YouTube channels on a 68 Camaro guy put a stiffening web inside a rocker here, which is what this is going to be. But I need to take the uh, this little support out that I talked about previously in the earlier video. I said about where the how the airflow came through the bottom, lower plant on the mall. I think this was just the air stop for it because the driver's side doesn't have this little brace. So we gotta tape that guy out and then I'll fit this in here. Put a couple slices, bend it around there. And then once that's all done, fit it up on the car itself. Um, I gotta order it. But I'm gonna put a bunch of uh, holes through here, lighten it up, and then dipple dye it. That way you make it a little bit stronger. Ties, I say, and gives a little bit of um, internal uh, rigidity to the rocker. That way it ties the front and back, the front and back part of the car a little better. And then plus also, let's see here, let's grab the camera off the stand. On the car itself, here's this, uh, the brace that comes down right here from the front of the car, comes down here. I'm going to try to tie it in this guy too, so that way it goes from on the where the firewall frame mount is, it's going to tie it all the way back, back in here. And then when I go put the cell brake connectors in, I'm probably going to tie them over to that also. Coming that way, we're actually right where the roll bar cage is going to go. So, uh, hopefully, over the weekend, I can probably at least get this done, or at least cut in there, fit it, and all that good stuff. I'm going there with two little spot wells. I'm just going to take the uh, mini die grinder and grind them out, grind them off, and then fit that in there as best as I can. Kind of give you an idea. <laughs> so there you go. I think I have to bend it around here. We just saw it do a splice. I'll splice it here. Cut a pie out of here. Make same thing on the bottom, and then uh, probably just take it over my knee, bend it, hopefully hold position, and then pull a couple pieces in, and work it way down, and then, uh, like I guess that'll tie it into the current car frame, and then you have this one whole entire piece ends up being boxed on the inside, and boxed on the outside with some 16 gauge metal. So before I go modding, bending this around to fit that, and then take my uh, Eastwood's. Uh, so for surface conditioning tool, take off the uh, the bill scale or one of areas that can reach it, and hopefully uh, it will look uh, a little decent when I get done with it. things I want to do is with this, this how it sits in here, uh, got this bent up at a, at a local metal place and uh, they bent it for me for, that was like 100 bucks for two of them. It's a 16 gauge, just like 040 or 060 thickness or something like that, I forget, but 16 gauge. Overall height is three and three quarters of an inch and the flange is one inch bent from 
the inside to the outside edge. And then the radius, I, I really didn't care what it was, but just by looking at it, it's probably a quarter inch radius. So what I want to do is, in here, on the rocker, that's about where it starts to bend. So right forward, I kind of just want to make a straight little line, and then I'm going to take a pie cut out of it. Same thing with the bottom, I'll get my um, square out, or uh, speed square out. I draw a line on top and bottom, make the pie cut, and then start bending it to match this. Get the second spin out, I'll weld it, and then I'll start on the other radius in here, which is kind of a taper, so I may have to make a splice down, a slice down in here and just slowly work it to where I want exactly where I want it. So one of the first things I want to do is when I had this up in the car, I took a uh, silver sharpie, marked out where the um, inside frame is there, I guess you could call it, and just marked it out. So what I'm gonna do is go over here, draw up the line, just make a little tick mark, and then I'm going to slice that off so I can fit this in here a little more square. There we go. Take that out of there, get my speed square, draw a line, cut it with a bracelet wheel. simple for me to bend that over. What we're going to do is I'm going to take a uh, piece of tubing here and here and just tack it in there real quick. That'll
back in there pretty gently. I can uh, just bend it with my thumb. I'm going to put a clamp there. So I can uh, get the right bend. Tubing, tack across the top, and uh. going for that's the uh, sport beat unit I'm making go inside the rocker how it bent wish I had like a shrink or stretcher I mean I probably could have done that curve a lot nicer or put in like a slip roll or something more than likely probably would have done it but the uh, couple things I got to do is back here where the drain hole is uh, let's get this thing to focus come on there we go uh, I'm just gonna slice it and then bend it down slightly just so if water does get up in here it can flow down and go down to that drain hole in there and, but I still want to leave the back side open just in case it gets down in there uh, it doesn't fall pulse contour pretty decently not too bad I've done worse trust me on this one but when I come down to this end uh, this is where it fits up inside the A pillar so I'm going to trim that off out back to the radius and then see how this fits up against that guy. Come on. There. And from where I took that apart, the old rocker, after I dig it out, they disclosed it pretty bad and just did the spot welds. And this thing was all bent. It was about the gap of that, the uh, 060 gap from the... Uh, plate that I put in there, it gonna, should hopefully take that up. Well, let me knock that out real quick, get in place, and see if uh, my theory is correct. All right, so that's what I was talking about where I could tie in up there. All I was gonna do is just add some rigidity to the uh, outer rocker panel. As I'm pretty sure a factory would have uh, had some more time engineering, they probably would have done this, but eh, who knows, they would have. It would cost money, time, and effort. But nope, I get to do it now. So hopefully tomorrow I can get my uh, dipple die when it comes in, punch a, bu punch a bunch of holes through there, dipple die it, and then I uh, think that would be getting ready to weld that in. Yeah. So hopefully maybe tomorrow or, yeah, weld this guy in and do some painting and all that fun stuff. All right, get back on the inner rocker here. Uh, let's make it darker here. There we go. Um, did the contour here for the uh, the drainage of when the water gets inside, comes down, goes out the side of the inner rocker, which kind of matches closely enough for internal stuff, as that does. Um, but there's a gap underneath of it, so any water from the backside or any whatever can flow down and come out the drainage hole and see anything up there in the brace. Well, one of the problem I had is when I measured this, I measured the old rocker, which was pretty beat up. And I thought it was uh, 3.75 inches overall uh, width between the bottom and the top here. Ends up being tapered all the way down. It goes down to about 3.4 inches down here, which sucks because I could have had them when they bent that up. Uh, they could have bent it on a taper for me and saved me some trouble. 
So what I gotta do is, I'm gonna put a split down through here, measure up. Uh, I think I'm gonna take a, four, take a 400,000 split from starting, probably from where the line is down here. Drill a little keyhole, and uh, we're gonna drill a hole there so that way it has a little bit of hinge point. Cut the line straight as I can here, move on up, get the overall diameter that I want here, and then weld it back together. And I'm gonna have to do the same thing for the other side. But hey, it's first time building one of these things, and I didn't know what to expect. So, alright, let me go uh, get some tape, or yeah, get some tape and lay out lines. <laughs> 